Hello everyone, hope you're well. Um, my name's Ashley Weber, and I just wanted to give you a very quick um, testimonial really, or some thoughts regarding um, shifts to success. Now, for me to do a video where I'm not holding an instrument, or there's no wacky graphics, or a punchline, or anything like that, we'll know this is actually a bit of a step out of the comfort zone, so this is, this is genuinely heartfelt. Um, so a little bit about me, um, I served as a police officer in the Met, uh, mainly on safer neighbourhoods, uh, PC and APS roles, and I was a borough trainer for a little while, worked in the Met for 10 years, and for various reasons, just got utterly sick of it, really. My last six years of service, my mental health really began to suffer, deteriorate. I was just not getting the most out of life, really, and I just felt that for me and for my family, I had to just call it a day. Uh, I've got no nothing more to say on it than that, really. Um, and I wrote a blog for Emergency Services Humour that um, got quite viral. It got quite well received, and I got quite a lot of messages just sort of saying a little bit of it, that resonated with a few people. And one of those people was uh, Alex Onisiri, and obviously founder of Shifts to Success and. What I liked from the word go was there was just no hard selling. There, there was no push. He had contacted emergency services humor, said, look, could you pass Ash my contact details? There was a brief little bit there about what he did, what Shift to Success was all about, and ask him to contact me if he wants to. So from the word go, I really felt there was no pressure at all. He just left some details. I contacted him, we had a conversation, and he invited me along to, um, one of the uh, quick start days, which was July last year up in Birmingham. Um, money back guarantee with that and uh, a free lunch. So anything involving a free lunch, I'm going to be there. And um, at that time, after stepping out of the job, I was freelancing here and there. I'm a musician by trade and sort of, you know, gigging about and just earning money like that. And it was good. I was ticking over, but... His, his communication to me couldn't have come at a better time because I thought, well, you know, there's got to be something solid that I can do with this. You know, there's got to be a, a business in this. Um, so, yeah, went down to the quick start day and just loved it. Loved it. Met the man himself. Met, uh, I think it's about another 10, 11 uh, people on what would turn out to be cohort two, uh, the second group. And just mingling, you know, got chatting to people and you very quickly realise that you're in a room full of people who have similar experiences, have worked in the same industry. The journeys might be slightly different, but have all made that decision that we want to try something else, at least give something a go. So right there and then I knew if I embarked with this and I went on this and I signed up to the programme, at the very least, I've got friends for life, you know, without trying to get all mushy. I can't imagine not knowing anyone in cohort two now, or one for that matter, and I'm sure three going forward. And we met the mentors um, uh, with the uh, uh, branding, uh, social media, sales, uh, marketing, packaging, um, business idea. I mean, there's a variety of um, mentors. And the day was great, you know, what they could each bring to the table, what we could expect to go away from it, it would give us some, some insights, some fresh ideas, some new thinking. And uh, I signed up for it initially, uh, and honestly, um, slightly apprehensive, not, not doubting what was on the road ahead, um, genuinely excited, wanted to hit the ground running, but it was, it was new. And like many people who sign up for Shift to Success, you know, I'd spent my entire working life more or less in the public sector, you know, just public servants. And the idea of entrepreneurial thinking um, going into to business was daunting and very scary, but very, very quickly. I mean, we're only three months into the process and it's just sucked the majority of, of, of the fear out of going into business. I mean, I thought, well, I certainly had my own ideas, my own preconceptions about about business, what that meant, my own idea, you know, in relation to you know sales and, and, and onboarding and lots of jargon that I'd heard. And obviously, I don't want to go into give anything away, but my thought was, well, I'll do everything for everybody. You know, I'll, I'll wear so many hats 
for my business and it just it doesn't work and what's really really good is this just straight insight this will work that won't work do this somebody takes your hand leads you through the whole process gives you suggestions so you've got the expert mentors advising you left right and center uh, you've got access to uh, the online portal which is kind of catch up from the live seminars that you do but there's other things in there there's sheets there's downloads trackers activities really really helpful um, there's I've got a, a very long sheet there there's there's webinar dates as well so sort of live check-ins uh, you know seminars Q&A's with the mentors going through you've got access to uh, the Facebook community there's a wider shift to success community then an actual secret group for the cohorts where we share wins stories advice ask questions give feedback and it's just phenomenal it, it's it's a genuine uh, community it does what it says on the tin it's completely changed the way that I'm thinking about business now who is it for what problems am I solving how can I do that what's unique about me what I can bring to the table social media how to actually use it properly uh, as the platform that it can be um, and just things it just gets these creative cogs thinking things that you wouldn't have even considered um, I'm still working on my idea but it's not something that I'd considered when I first started and that's okay because part of the process is just get get you thinking you know you might change your idea a few times but it's really phenomenal uh, my suggestion is if you're a police officer uh, or uh, NHS uh, and you're genuinely not necessarily unhappy but you're just thinking is there more out there I want to do something different at least have a look you lose nothing by getting a pen and paper writing some ideas down going to um, shift to success website reaching out to Alex and just taking the um, the quiz um, that he's got um, is being a business owner right for me you lose nothing doesn't take long I genuinely recommend it I'm only a few months into the journey haven't looked back really really excited it's full of fun activities great ideas and it really just just gets you thinking you know I've spent 10 years as a cop now I, I consider myself on the path to entrepreneurship and being a business owner and it's it's genuinely exciting um, that's what I would say give it a go um, yeah I just a, a danger of waffling on um, biggest thing I've taken away from it is it is scary, it is intimidating, there's a lot to think about, but you are surrounding yourself with A, some superb friends, but secondly, experts in the field, top business coaches, authors, mentors, entrepreneurs, people who have been there, done it. You can't say it fairer than that. Folks, take this further, take the next step. Honestly, you won't regret it, and uh, look forward to catching up with you um, in cohort three, four, five, six, and hopefully many, many more. All the best to you.